Hey everybody, it's Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. Hope you're doing well. And um, we're gonna be doing some more layouts in France and Flowers, Red Toile, Big Red. I say Big Red because this is Big Red and this is Little Red. <laughs> Which you will have, if you watch that video, you'll know what Little Red's all about. So um, before I get started, I just wanna say um, th thank you so much to everyone who's watching, uh, being patient with me as a newbie YouTuber. And you guys, this morning when I checked, I had 934 subscribers. And um, I was gobsmacked. I was humbled. I, I I thought it would take a year to get 100 <laughs> subscribers. And, and I thought they'd be all like family and friends. So Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, you're just making, you're all just making this so much fun for me. And I truly appreciate you. Okay, let's get into creating. Okay, so what I wanna do this week is two or three, we'll see how the time goes, layouts in uh, big red. I'm, I'm Because I'm getting lazy, that's now the name. <laughs> because it's just too long. France and Flowers, part two, red twelve, you know. It's big red. So um, we're gonna do a little bit simpler in our layouts today. Just, uh, you know, because they don't all need to be like super duper elaborate and all, you know, I mean, I'm gonna make them pretty and we're gonna make them fun, but you know, they sometimes, you know, I, I might possibly go a little bit overboard. So, so we're gonna be a little bit simpler today. I think you'll like them and if not, you know, let me know. So let's start with this little guy here. And let's see here. So this is a page, and I've shown you pages from this book before. Macmillan Wildflower Book or Macmillan Book of Wildflowers, something like that. Um, it's an older book of botanicals, and it's cool. It's got a little bit of the, you know, the, I don't know what you call it, fading or caramelizing up, up, uh, up at the top there. And um, I just think the images are so beautiful. So this is the center of this particular signature. And I've got the wax thread bow coming in the middle. So like, I don't wanna cover up a lot of this. Obviously we wanna do some decorating, but I don't wanna cover up a lot of it. So my thinking is vellum makes a great pocket when you don't wanna cover up too much of the outside. Now I had, I thought I might trim this here to make it like this. This is just how I found it. But you know what, I think I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna leave it because I wouldn't want it to go all the way down to this hole anyway. So we're gonna be doing a pocket, and I have ahead of time made a little mini notebook to coordinate with um, a journaling card. So it's just, um, this is paper that I found on Amazon. It's in like little five by seven, <laughs> seven five by seven sheets. Um, there's tons of designs. It wasn't very expensive, I got like five or six little um, bundles of them. And um, so I just obviously cut that up. I found this, uh, let's see, this little corner cutter, which I forgot I had. It's Creative Memories, but if you can see that little fun design. Now it's subtle, but I, you know, I was gonna grab the corner rounder and I thought, boy, I'd like to do something a little different. I need, maybe I need to get more. No, I don't need to get more, I have enough. But um, I thought that was really pretty, just for the edges. And then, you know, just a little sticker. This is coffee dyed papers. They were remnants of paper that I trimmed off and I just did one little stamp in there and the rest is um, empty to be doing some journaling. Um, we're gonna do this is one of my tags that I just did a little um, mass making um, venture <laughs> and I made a whole bunch of tags and this was one of them. And this was kind of the inspiration, I mean, other than the page itself for what I wanted to do in here because it just, I think it ties together beautifully with the art on the page, you know, with the purples and that aqua really isn't in here, but it's okay. You can have other colors. I mean, it kind of is actually. If you, there, let's see if you can see that. It's a, there's a little bit of it in there. Okay. <laughs> You're like, it's a stretch. It's a stretch. No, it, it's really there. And, um, and, oh, sticky note. Um, and to keep it simple, I'm going to do, um, 
maybe just one, ah, I might do a couple things, but this is a piece of that French ephemera, that order that I did the show and tell. And let's see, something Marseille, something looks like November. And I don't know, it looks like doctor, but that is gonna be tucked into either the pocket or um, under the clip. Now, you might think this is crazy, but I'm gonna do a plain old, plain old white clip on this. I found these, I mean, obviously they're, they're everywhere, but I was like, you know, I'd like to get some different colored paper clips. So I just picked up a box of these, you know, they're like covered with like a plastic. And a lot of them are unfortunately green. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many greens and, and um, greens and reds, I think are in there, a lot of them. But I like the white because it's very neutral. Um, it's not gonna take away from anything and it kind of pulls in, you know, like the white of the vellum. Okay, that's enough, I'm overthinking. Okay, let's get started. So this will be really easy. I think I will do a teeny tiny bit of, whoops, just a little bit of distressing around um, with our vintage photo, just so that, because this page is shorter, so that you can kind of, you know, see the difference between this page and, the, and you know, the page behind it. It would be fine without it, but that way we can really tell that this page is, you know, it's different from the back one. Not too much. It's already kind of an older page. Yeah, just a little. And I see I got it a little bit rough up here when I cut it, but we don't mind that. I like it when it's a little bit rustic. And I don't think I will do any edging or inking on the vellum. <clears throat> and we're gonna go in with our Fabrifix, or I like Fabri-Tac. <laughs> They're the same, basically. Um, oh, I'm gonna try not to do that. I noticed in my last video, I was doing this a lot. <laughs> Poor people, you're like, get that bottle out of my face. So I'm gonna try to do, when I do that, I'm gonna try to do it over here. Um, and I was not gonna redo the whole video. I, I mean, I couldn't, because I had done, you know, some stuff, and like, I couldn't redo it. So, and already we're kind of plugged up here. Hold on a second. Get something to wipe this off. Oh my goodness. Okay. And alrighty. Okay. Okay, how to have it like this. Okay. So since we're doing a pocket, obviously we're just gonna be doing the edges. Okay, I'll go over here. And shake, shake, shake. Okay. I don't want to make you seasick either. Seasickness is not fun. I've done it. Um, when, I don't know if I told this story or not, when my boys graduated from high school, we took them to Hawaii um, for kind of a graduation present. And one of the excursions on Maui was uh, a snorkeling cruise, which we, we were all so excited to do. But I'll tell you, the minute I, I did one little run in the water, you know, we got off the boat. It was a five hour cruise, by the way. Got off the boat and um, went into the water and it, I was fine. As soon as I got back on the boat, I was seasick. So basically for four hours, me and a whole bunch of other people and one of my sons, uh, we were just, it was miserable. It was horrible. It was like the worst thing in the world. And I'll never forget, <laughs> this was on Maui. And it's like, I had, I don't know. I have no desire to go back to Maui, which has nothing to do with it. But anyway, it, it's miserable. So don't get seasick. <laughs> so here is our little tag, just um, cut or punched rather with my tag punch, which is pretty awesome. I love this thing. I think this is the biggest size, this is the biggest one. Yep, it is. And then I did the little corner rounder and you know, just some fun little embellishments and a little craft string. So there's, because, and the reason I'm doing 
journaling tag and, oh, there's a little glue on there, and a notebook is because obviously there is no, there are no journaling spots. I'll put it at an angle on this layout. I don't wanna lay down a bunch of paper to do, um, you know, for journaling because I don't wanna cover up these pretty images. So, I mean, how simple is this? You know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put down our white paper clip. I mean, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it's ugly? Do you think I should do something different? Let me know. I'm happy to do that. <laughs> I debated and debated, and then it's like, and what color would be good? And none of the colors, other colors looked very good. So, but along with this, I was thinking, and I'm still gonna keep it simple, I wanna do this little, where are you? This little bumblebee stamp. Oops, can you see? Because, I, I mean, I don't have to do this, but I've got a little bumblebee on here, and maybe just to tie it together. Actually, let me take these off while I do this. And so I'm gonna do some little bumblebee stamps, but what if I, okay, what if I made some, what if I punched out these little hexagony shapes, and are they hexagons? I think so. Because isn't that kind of the shape of sort of like a honeycomb shape? I might be making that up in my mind, but we'll just pretend it is. And then we can do some stamping on them and I can kind of place a few around. So it's not gonna take up a bunch of room, but it's just gonna add a little something and the craft paper blends in really well with this. So let's see, this is, okay. I'll just do like three of them. Three is a nice, a nice odd number. <laughs> And there's that. Oh, I got close to the edge here. Okay. I always forget about stamps. I, I mean, I love using them, but I forget. Oh, did that get too close? No, it's fine. Okay. And even though I want to keep this simple, I don't want it to be boring, you know. Oh, okay. That wasn't good. Okay. How did I do that? Okay, make sure we get it all under there. <laughs> Turn it over carefully. All right. That is that. And let's do some little, yeah, I'm gonna use the vintage photo. Vintage photo. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I guess I could do it after. Let's also ink these up a little bit so that they stand out nicely. Maybe we'll even put one on here. That could be fun. I suppose I could have used that half of one like it's going off the page. I don't know what I did with it now. I think I got rid of it. <laughs> Look how fast this one was. Yay! Partially because I did things ahead of time like the note card and the note, the little notepad. Um, we're going to do a video a little later on. Um, where I just make up a bunch of note pads and maybe paper clips and stuff so that they're ready and it'll just save time. Okay, stamp. Oh my gosh, I love it. I mean, I know it's simple, but I love it. We can just, yeah, we can just stick him down there. Well, let's do them all and then we'll decide. Just a little bit of this. Oh, this was, by the way, part of some packing paper. See, it says reuse. I reused it. I'm being a good camper. Okay. Okay. There's that. What did they do with that other one? I flung it away and it's, oh, there it is. How would that look? Would that be weird? How weird could it be, right? I don't want to waste it. <clears throat> and maybe we can make, even make it so that the B is like going off the page. Let's see here. I don't want it to get on. I don't mind if it gets on here, but I don't want it to then get on the book. Let's see. It probably is going to go all the way on there. Let's see. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah. He, he missed one of his legs, but that's that's okay. That's good enough. Okay, let's glue these little guys down. I wonder, <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
maybe for this, because these are so like thin and little. Hey, I could, I could even do that on here. Hmm. Oh, there I go, overthinking again. Okay, let's just start sticking some down. <sighs> you know how I do that? <sighs> because my glue stick gets really dry in between. And yeah, let's just, not too plan. There's nothing down here that it's gonna cover up. I'll bring it up closer when we get closer. And I don't wanna put one up here because I'm gonna have the little no notebook there. Not that that really matters too much. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry guys, I felt a little coughing fit coming on <laughs> and I didn't wanna do that in front of you. I didn't want you to have to listen to me cough. So let's, uh... now hopefully I will figure out how to blend those two pieces of video together. I think I can do that. Let's see here, a little off up here. I just have like a little tickle in my throat. Yeah, so he's going off the page. And oh, now I've got four, now I have an odd number, or an even number, <clears throat> which is not supposed to be like, you know, desired. <laughs> let's see, let's figure out where we're gonna put He can go here. Yeah, you can cover up some of the words. And he can go here. He's got to go this way, though, because this guy's going that way. I'll do that. And he can go. Maybe I do want it over here. Because I don't want it to be one, two, three, four. So he's going to go like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love it. How quick and simple was that? Scraps, scraps, scraps. You know, you can't beat that, right? Okay, all right, and now our little notebook. And we have one layout done. These little pansies have like, they're like, um, you know, they're like more than one layer, so it's possible that's gonna get caught on there a little bit. There we go. Oops, there is layout one, ta-da. Okay, boy, that was easy. <laughs> I like doing this pre-prepping here. And I believe this was one of them. I don't know where my sticky note went, but, oh, there it is. But let's, yeah, let's do that one, okay. Okay, so another simple one, hopefully. So what I wanna do is, first of all, let's do a little <clears throat> inking around the page. This is just the back side of a, of a coffee stained digital image. And so, you know, you can kind of see some stuff coming through, but there's, there's nothing special about this. And the other page, will be our journaling page. And that is obviously the other half of a coffee dyed page and with some French writing. You can see that. Simple and pretty. And we'll do a little bit. I'll take him off for right now. He's one of our double-sided paper clips. a little bit maybe down there and then this is a digital image and uh, <laughs> this is one that and oh my gosh I printed this so big I didn't think about you know how when you're like printing things out and it's really hard to tell how big they are you know like when they're gonna come out I mean I should know because it says eight and a half by eleven but <laughs> I printed these out and it's like the it's massive. It's like this massive French receipt. And um, also it's one of those that um, did a little running when I did the coffee dyeing on it. But I love it because you can see how beautifully it blends with the paperclip, which I had done a long, a long time ago. 
So we're gonna use it, and I'm gonna use it as, I think I plan on using it as a belly band. Yeah, as a belly band. And then, this is another piece of uh, French ephemera from that order. Just a French book page, really pretty, caramelized. Not, not too fragile. So what we're gonna do is stick that in here. Now I'm wondering, should I do a belly band or should I actually put the pocket down here? I think I'm gonna do belly band because I don't think that's gonna go anywhere if I make it tight enough. Unfortunately, I gotta cut some of this off, but I can cut off this part because there's really nothing up there. And then we are going to take this little guy and we're gonna put him on the receipt, ink it up a little bit, and it's, it's sort of fussy cut, not perfectly fussy cut, and I think I'll, I might bump that down a little. It's gonna overhang a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. I'm not, it's, it's a nice um, sturdy paper. And then we were, are probably gonna do um, a French postcard digital image and make a little, a little um, journaling card out of that. I also have, I don't know, I haven't decided yet <clears throat> if I wanna stick this in there too. So maybe, we'll see, I'll think about that. Okay, and this is also um, a digital image and I think I got this from Paper Outpost and just inked it up and I love this. I've been, I've been wanting to use this and I, I can't ever seem to find the exact layout that I wanna use. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is cut off this. I hate to cut it, but I don't know what else to do. I really don't have a choice. Okay, let's try, where is that? Okay. Uh, my knife. And first I'm gonna eyeball it, and if it's not right, I think I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of this edge off too. Very carefully, open her knife. I see I didn't cover my glue and it's over there bubbling. Looks like a, some kind of a mad scientist potion over here bubbling up. And yeah, I'll try this. I think this will do the trick. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, perfect, okay. With a little inking. Thank you very much. gonna pay for that not covering up that bottle <laughs> it's not gonna be happy with me <laughs> and then I also have to decide um, you know what how I want it to go on here because I have our little flower a little flower which is right here that is going to be covering some of this up but this would be upright I guess, so, I mean, it's sideways anyway, but yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, I like that. Actually, that's kind of like perfect right there, isn't it? Okay, let's put this down. Do I need to wipe you off again? I bet I do, because I was not a good crafter. I was a bad crafter. So, belly band, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make sure I leave enough room for the, oh yeah, plenty of room, okay. You see how that ran through, like even on the back side in that one batch that I did. I put lots of glue, keep it nice and sturdy. Maybe that, that's probably too much. I was uh, <laughs> listening to Pam from the Paper Outpost this morning and she was talking about getting glue on her hands and uh, she said that, um, she said some people don't like it, and, and but she loves it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm one of those other ones. <laughs> I don't love it. I love using it. I don't love it. I can't wait <laughs> to get the glue off of my hands when I'm done. But um, I love the glue, but I also can't wait to not have it on my hands and my nails when I'm done. So, <laughs> you know, to each his own. <clears throat> and she's a pro. She's a pro crafter, so she knows what she's doing. One of my, um, I'd say she's one of my heroes. She's one of the people that I really learned a ton from. 
um, before starting my YouTube channel. Um, her and Kelly from Book and Paper Arts, they're my heroes. And um, I don't know, if they ever see this, I hope that they hear this part and know that how much they inspired me to do a YouTube channel and to learn all about this. So, okay, that's enough of that mushy stuff. Okay, so, well, I thought I had this so that the angle was right, but, well, like, I could. I could just cut that leaf off, and that'll fit perfect. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Can I do this? Like, should I try it? Okay. Come on, there. <laughs> now, I don't have to worry about... It getting like, you know, flimsy. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. Now there's another thing we could do. We could make this into a secondary pocket. I think that's a good idea. I mean it won't be a very big one, but we'll have to and then I'll have to come up with something little to put there sometime. But I like that idea. Okay. So, okay, that's the tricky part. Like what <laughs> Where do we glue on these weird little shapes? Oh. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Try not to shake in your face here. So if I just go around and up, I'm gonna say about halfway, that should give us a good pocket. The pocket will be kind of that part. Okay, and stick him right down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty. How pretty is that? I like it. Okay, over here, we're gonna stick this uh, French book page in the pocket. And yeah, that fit. that's nice and snug, so it's not gonna go flopping all over the place. I mean, you don't get to really see it unless you pull it out, but that's kind of what a, a pocket's for, right? It's like to, oh, it looks like a secret back there. You don't know what's back there. Okay, and then we've got our paper clip, which is a side paper clip. And, a, and, and of course, it's a double-sided one. And the other side is the, the next layout that we're gonna do. So I kind of did that on purpose. <laughs> so I could use both of these sides at one time. And so when we're doing these double-sided ones, because this is like the floppy side, we're going in between the two parts of the paper clip and not under that flop, flap, <laughs> floppy flop. Okay, floppy flap, okay. Okay, and then we've got our little postcard that we need to do up. And here we go. Not covering up the glue or the ink. Okay, so this will just be another little writing space. I'm just kind of not make that real sharp. Do our little inking trick with this. <clears throat> yeah, these are going on, going along really nicely. Really nicely. And we're gonna bend it up a little bit and you know, we're gonna beat it up a little bit. Okay, two. <laughs> Get your aggression out. Tear, rip, tear, rip and tear, okay. And I'm, I'm not gonna do too much of the distressing or the, uh, well yeah, it's distressing. Just a little bit. I just love these, just love them. Now, I don't know if this looked like this originally, like all black and white, or if that's just how the digital print was, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter, I love it, no matter what. And I have enough color going on with the sort of aqua in the pink. A little on the back, I'll get these little rips, get that little crease back here that. 
And like that. Okay. All right. I think he's probably aged up enough. Very simple. Just simple little card. However, let's do... I do like to do a little stamp of something. And what do we got here? Oh, how about, how about a little tulip? I wish I had one of those, that would be cool. I'll just do a little tulip. Something simple. Yeah. <laughs> and there's that. And he's just gonna tuck in here. Could go in the pocket, could go in here. And uh, gosh, is that it for this one? I think that's it. Well, I did have this. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I think I'm gonna hold off. I think I might think about that some more at a later time. What about maybe? Do we want some kind of flower sticker of some sort somewhere on here, like maybe up in the corner up here, to bring up a little more of that pink? Let's see. You know, you don't want to overdo it either. I could even do another one of these. Oh, then there's, of course, there's these, which are basically, yeah, there's eh, just a little bit off, aren't they? Let's see here. What's this one like? No, I don't think I care for that. I don't think I care for it. Okay. Oh, wait a, wait a minute. What about, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to reach over you. I got a pile over here. Got more of those. What if we did one of these little guys? It's not pink, but it'll just add a little something just up here. Yeah, I may come back and do more. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll do the second pass before the book is done. But yeah, there's a second layout. How about that? Pretty quick and easy. All right. So for the final one, we're going to play off of this, um, this beautiful French music digital image. And of course, we're going to do our putting our flowers we're gonna ink them up and put our flowers over the music, which I just, I love that look. We're gonna put a little text up here. Now, I gotta remember <laughs> what that says. I, I, I looked it up and I knew it and now I forgot again. Um, but you know what, it's French and it blends in. So I might be covering up a little bit of this. Well, I could, well, I guess what I'm trying to do is cover up some of this blank space but it is gonna show down here anyway. So maybe I shouldn't worry too much about that. I could put this at an angle and do, I could do another pocket, another kind of pocket. Put it like this, like this. Could be a little pocket going this way. Just a little one. I think I like that. Okay, let's do some tearing. I just don't want it to be quite this big. By the way, when you're when you're tearing and you get, you know, you don't have a lot of space to tear, I have found that, let's see if I can dig it out. Um, the, uh, the deco scissors, which watch it be sitting right here next to me. It's not. Um, yeah, there it is, okay. The deco scissors gives a, a really similar look to tearing because, I mean, that is kind of the look. So, you know, if you get, like sometimes if you don't have a lot of room, you know, it's hard to tear because you just don't have enough to grab onto. And so when you get in that position, you know, you pull out your deco scissors. And if you don't have one, then you just, you know, I mean, you just regular cut it or you, you know, however you want to do it. But I have done that several times when I've just gotten too close and I can't, can't get my fingers to do it. Okay. Let's do this and this. <clears throat> and that's that. Okay, I'm gonna do 
do a little bit of inking around the page now that I have this clip here. <laughs> I should have done both sides when I was doing that because I knew I would be doing both sides of that paper. And, and we're going to be using another one of my mass made journaling cards, journaling tags. Oh, my chair just went down a notch. <laughs> it's old. It's like, I don't know, 15 years old. I got it from Office Depot. And the screws keep coming out. And then I have to flip it over and put the screws back in. And <laughs> that could be what's happening. I don't know. And let's give him a little inking right now. But, but I think I'm going to get it trimmed first. So how am I going to do this pocket? Hmm. I was going to do, I was going to go like this, wasn't I? Is it okay sideways? Yeah. So we need to cut off this. I'm just going to go like that. Oh, I'm getting good at that. Okay. Inking up. I mean, I guess I wouldn't need, oh, wait a minute. What was I doing? <laughs> I already forgot. No, that's right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make it a, a little pocket. Someone suggested in th my last um, three lay layout video that one of the images sh um, could have been a pocket. And I was like, you know, that was a good idea. Um, sometimes I just, you know, like you just start gluing and you forget. But I was like, yeah, that, that's a good idea. I have to remember that. before I have to not get carried away with the gluing and remember that. Yeah, I think that's pretty coming sideways. I mean, it could go this way. It could go that way. Okay, just do it. <laughs> so now I want the glue to be, hmm, I definitely want it to be along here. And I think I want this glued down because otherwise it's gonna be flip-flopping. And, oh, shake off camera, okay. Shake, 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 shake. Just a nice little bead all around. <clears throat> okay, and leaving the top open. Maybe that's where, uh... yeah, maybe I can slip the tag in there. Yeah. Okay. We did that right. And get you over there. Okay. Or I have a little um, a little piece of French ephemera. It's a French playing card, and he's got roosters. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Okay. Maybe he'll go in here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And you. Can go, let's do the glue stick for this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna give glue stick another shot. I'm gonna try it. I know that this is a good glue stick. I just uh, I have trouble with it really drying out. And like so. And we're just gonna put him right up here. Yeah, and he's actually not even going to cover up. Oh, I want you over just a little bit, just a little bit. Not even going to cover up much of that. <laughs> it's lumpy because I have a paper clip back there. Pretty. Really pretty. Okay. You know, hmm, since we've got the butterfly thing going on, okay, we're going to, I think we're going to do something else too, but first... Let's see, did I leave enough room for him? Did I leave enough room for anything? <laughs> Boy, barely. Let's see, maybe maybe that can't be down. Maybe this isn't gonna be a pocket, let's see. Or maybe I just need something smaller. You know what, let me see if I can kind of, oh, it's probably way down. Oh, no, that's okay. I can kind of pry this up a little. I hate to do it because I'm afraid it's gonna get floppy. 
I could later come in and back this with another little piece of paper. I mean, that sounds like a lot of work, but I've done it before because I think I'm gonna need that to be more open to uh, be a pocket. Yeah, yeah. So for right now, <clears throat> and for right now, let me put a little piece of plastic in here just so that that does not stick back <laughs> stick back down to the paper while we are playing around here. Okay, now for the tag, let's see. I've got three options. What do we got here? And Okay, so I've got this, which I think I'm gonna, well, I don't know, it could go either place. I think I might tuck the tag in up here because I've, if I wanna put the playing card down here, the reason I'm kind of thinking of that is because this is super cute here. However, um, I'd like to bring some pink over here. So I think I am gonna leave him on this side and then need one of these tags. I think that this button is going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. They're going to run into the paper clip. Okay, so it's kind of down to these two. This is the flatter one. Yeah, I think this is the one. I think this is the winner. Pink is pretty. Pink blends in. This, this is one of my favorite tags, actually. I love this. Yeah, and he's going to just tuck right in there. Brings a little pink in. But what I was thinking was, hold on a second, let me dig for one second. Um, find some fun little, oh, hey, there's this. Could, hey, we could maybe put that in there too. Oh, look at that, look at, how, look at how pretty that is. That could even go under here as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cut them. Cut them out, do a little inking. What I, what I keep trying to say and, <laughs> and uh, keep getting sidetracked is either doing some butterfly stamps, just a couple of them around, or, that's not the right one, here, a couple of butterfly little, um, um, you know, what are these called? Yeah, punches, punches, on like a little paper background, so. Let's just make this sort of um, a butterfly themed France and Flowers page. Oh, I got that little crooked. It's a little crooked. It's like a lot crooked. Okay. Straighten, just straighten you out a little bit, guy. Okay, a little inking. Oh, I really like that. And yes, there's a little bit of orange in it, but that's okay. I like, it also ties in beautifully with the background page here. And there's no like special purpose to this. It's just a little image. Yeah, I like it. So you will probably go in here with maybe our Mr. Card Guy or let's see, or maybe he's gonna go in here and it's gonna go under here. Well, I've got a lot of stuff now, don't I? <laughs> Maybe it can go like that. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. You know, I could just cut that off if it's a problem. No one's gonna know but us. I could just cut that little part off. You know what I mean? I think I might. Let's just do it. Let's just kind of cut this off I mean, without cutting my fingers, hopefully. Nobody's gonna know except you and me. And a little inking. And it's still a little bit floppy, but it's not as floppy as that little teeny tiny piece. You know? And if I do have to come in and give it a little backing, it'll be easier <laughs> than trying to back that little tiny piece. Oh, yeah. see, it. you can't even tell. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, so what do you think? Punches or stamps? Punches or stamps? All right, let's look here. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to overcomplicate this. I'm trying not to do that. 
just some hmm, paper like this. Oh, you know what? I saw a little scrap of this pink somewhere. Where did I see that? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Stuff is going all over the floor. Ooh. Okay. All right. I, okay. I got a plan now. How about, I just gotta find a piece of paper. Okay, let's do a butterfly. I'm gonna do a butterfly. And let's see, I'm gonna make sure he's under there. And then I'll ink him up. Oh yeah, it's, it's good. And hopefully this will work, we'll see. Give him a little ink. I need to get more punches. You know, I've got all the basic shapes, circles, squares, hexagons, <laughs> rectangles, triangles. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty. And just, he could just go anywhere. Oh, he could go right there. I like that. And then just leave all this plain. Maybe I'll do, okay, maybe I'll do a butterfly stamp over here, okay. And I feel like it needs something in the middle though. Should we do in a little eyelet? Okay, first let me get him down, okay. Get, oh yeah. Sticky fingers. And the eyelet's gonna hold this butterfly on no matter what happens. So I'm gonna use the crocodile. I'll reach over you and get, now let's see, I gotta remember this. I think these are, yeah, these are one eighth. So this, I know I can punch on the crocodile, but um, I don't know, this. <laughs> just to show you how easy these are too. So I'm just gonna punch a little hole and get it, I better get it going the right way. I'm just gonna punch a little eighth inch hole. Is it eighth? Yeah, it is, I don't know. I know it says it somewhere, but I can't see it. But I know that it is because the other one that I have like this is 1 16th, which I don't have any punches that small. Punch right in the middle. And I guess we should do a pink because that's what we got going on here. Okay, come on. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Who designed that? <laughs> I don't think it was a crafter. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be cute. All right, here you go. I gotta put it back to um, that. And I already have this step like this, and I only have one, like I've only tried one setting because I only have one size eyelet. So I'm just gonna get it under here. And I, I use the, the thing that comes down to guide where to place you know, the eyelet in the paper. So, because I don't know how else, oh my gosh, okay. I don't really know how else to do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Pretty? Pretty. I love it. Okay. All right. I think you might need some stronger glue. Yeah. I love this. <clears throat> I'll just stick him over here. He's just flying into the scene. And where's my butterfly stamp? I gotta have something down here. Something, something. Oh, right here, butterfly. And a little. Let's see, and he can go kind of like, yeah. Oh, pretty. Well, I don't know. I think it's done. What do you think? I like it. Let me know your thoughts. All right. There's one layout. Um, the other one was right next to it. Here's our second layout. This is pretty simple. Oh, <laughs> it went kind of went through. That's okay though. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, you know, maybe I'll come back later and do something else. 
as I always say, I like to sit with it a little bit. And, oh, I like this one. Our kind of simple bumblebee and, um, what would you call it, wildflower and bumblebee layout. Yeah, I think they turned out great. Super easy. Hey, thanks, thanks again so much for watching, you guys. Um, I really appreciate you. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you next time. Bye.